Are you new to track systems? Have you never had a horse before? Are you new to hay nets? If so, this is the video for you. I'll show you how to put up hay nets on various different types of rings, trees, platforms. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the Natural YouTube channel. I'm Mary Ann and I'm passionate about helping you to heal your horse, mind, body and soul naturally. Now today I want to show you all about hay nets. So tying them, how to tie them to trees, rings, anything you could think of, I'm going to give it a go. So if we start off simply, we've got a ring here which has been screwed to a tree. This is a holly tree, which doesn't seem to mind being screwed to at all. Now, I'm showing you this on an empty hay net, just because if I was doing it on a full hay net, the horses would be up here with me and knocking over my camera. I'll be doing a video about the various types of hay nets for you, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to click the little bell icon and subscribe so you get a notification as soon as that video is up. So, you've got your standard net here with your standard rope, with a knot in the end. Now, I prefer to have the knot right at the end, at the opposite end of the net. I find that it's an extra security when tying the net onto things, but it's whatever works best for you. So, I've got my ring here on my tree, which there is anything. What I'm gonna do is put the end with the knot through the loop and pull it tight till the top reaches the loop, the ring. Then I'm gonna take corner of the net. Now when you first buy these nets they won't have a corner because they are nets, they're cylindrical, um, but you can sort of figure one out and you just end up using the same point again and again and then it does turn into almost a triangle. So I've taken the end on the corner. It's best to make sure that you've got several lines worth. If you just use a single one, like this one here, the horses can break that quite easily. Take a loop, open it up, feed the end of the rope through it with the knot, so it then sits like that. So then you want to run that corner as far up as your net will allow you to. Obviously when the net has got hay in it, or haylage, whatever you're using, it uh, is a bit bulkier, so it can be stopped about here or here or here. It's whatever you feel your net to. And then once you get to the point where you're able to, you then want to take your long end, create, create a loop back on itself. So you've got this sliding around in the loop. You then want to take the end of your rope with your knot, feed it round the back of the loop and feed it through the hole. So that creates a knot, just like that. So that is one way to tie it up. This can then take a hell of a lot of pulling and it won't come undone. And you may find that it can get stupidly tight, but it, I find that these ropes, because they're nylon or similar, they're easy to undo anyway. If you have a proper rope one, then using that method might not be the best option for you, but there are several others you can try. So, if you go for another one, again, pop your end through the ring, so you've got it sliding like this. Take it up to the highest point where you feel comfortable. Feed your end of your rope through the corner of your hay net, remembering to have several lines of net on either side to fortify it so you don't get a broken net. Feed it up to where you want it. Now, this is a method that you use pretty much to tie your horses up to wherever you're tying them up to, so you can brush them or tack them up, whatever you're doing. So, I take the end and I turn it over to itself to create this loop here. Then I take the long end, feed it round the back, so you can see it through the middle of the, root, the loop. Then, to pull it through the loop, so you create another loop, like that. Now, with this end, you can then carry on like you would if you were tying up a horse. So you've got this loop, feed the, net, the, feed the line through it, pull it tight slightly, then you've got a new loop. So take that, take your, new, take your line, 
pull it through to create another loop and so on and so forth until you get to the end of your rope and then you can just pull it tight and that's not going anywhere not even with the most pulling in the entire well so fortified and very very complex looking <laughs> but it's actually very very simple and then when you come to untie it you can just take your end feed it back through that single loop and then pull and it undoes all of the knots like it would when you're tying up your horse so that's another way you can tie this up another one that i've seen is where people obviously again put the end through the corner of the net to create this slide and then they tie it onto the actual ring in whatever method you use whether you use the one that you'd use to tie up your horse again that's not going anywhere or with the method that we had initially on the rope as well where you go around create a loop create a single loop and pull there we go again secure so there are several knots that you can try if you want to be adventurous there's very several sailors knots that you could give a go but those are the ones that well those are the two that I mostly use. I prefer to tie it onto the net rather than the ring, just because I quite, quite, <laughs> I really, really fill up my nets because I have larger horses or ponies. So if I put more hay in the net and really, really stuff it, there's less nets I have to put out to maintain them throughout the night or throughout the day, whatever they need. So I prefer to tie onto the rope itself. But as I say, it's for your personal preference whether you tie onto the rope or tie it onto the ring. So that's a ring. Next, we'll have a look at tying onto a tree. Now we've got an actual tree. Again, this is a holly. Um, we're not too fussed with our hollies because they seem to keep water around in the ground. So we're not too fussed if these get damaged or die as a result of us screwing in the rings or as a result of them having nets tied to them but it's what you want to keep and make sure that whilst you'd like to think that your horses might be quite delicate and dainty at eating they can actually create quite a pull be mindful of what you're tying to be mindful of what you want to keep and what you're not too fussed of if it gets damaged so with this one again i'm using an empty net so that my herd aren't up here with me getting in the way and breaking my camera make sure you've got something that'll keep it further up with you've got an offshoot which comes off here which means you tie above it so that it would hold the net higher up for example this holly here you can see it's got several branches which we can use to hang the hay nets on or whether there's something like this one where these two trees touch which will stop the net from falling onto the floor now i don't like nets on the floor because i've got spring and her hooves can get caught in it i don't believe my other members of my herd will be able to get their hooves inside any of these holes but i'd rather not have hay nets set on the floor either because then they get drenched and they get covered in mud or <laughs> because i've got boys they end up sitting on uh, peeing on them or pooping on them which then i have to wash the nets else nobody uses them which is understandable. Make sure that your tree has something to stop your net from falling onto the floor. So, with a similar sort of principle with the ring, you want to tie it, tie your net around your tree. So, you've got the same principle again of wrap it round as far as you can, take the end of your net and pop it, pop the end through. Pull it tight and then you can use the similar knots that we were talking about with the rings so you can create your loop pull it uh, take the rope through the back and pull it through the middle to create a knot and tie it off there that won't go anywhere whatsoever no matter how much the horse pulls on it and because again these are nylon they're fairly easy to untie so that is another option for you now because this is a uh, two trees next to each other we have been doing a figure eight on this one that seems to be able to hold the net up for a long time and seems to give the horses something to think about because it can end up in all sorts of ways which is great mental stimulation for them so i'm holding this on with my body 
because that makes it easier for me. No, it depends on what you work with, depends on what your body's like. You might just be able to go, yeah, I'm good. But I find sometimes that it's just easier to hold, hold it on with your body. And then you've got two hands to play with. So for this figure of eight, I'm taking it around the back of one. And then I'm wrapping it the opposite way around the other tree, through the middle, and then finding the end of, or the corner of my net, feeding that through just as we were previously and then I'm just going to tie it on. So another one to think about. So I like tying onto trees like these two because it means that I don't have to cause any damage to the trees to put up rings. Um, it means that I don't have to go through the expense of buying rings and it's just a natural way to hang them up. Or if you prefer the security of the rings, then by all means go grab those. The rings will obviously screw into the trees, um, so they're more permanent, but it does mean that as the tree grows, the ring slowly gets higher and higher and taller and taller. And in not having permanent rings on some of my trees, it does mean that I have movable hay stations, which is great for my herd's mental stimulation. So next, you might want to tie your hay nets to a rail. Now, for me, I find that after a while, horizontal bars do end up breaking or coming unscrewed. You can see that that fence is quite wonky. It's been had numerous hay nets on it in the past. Then you take your net, and I like to hold it on with my knee just brace it on the underside of the horizontal bar that I'm working with and I've got two hands to play with. So my knee is underneath to push it up against the bar. I've got two spare hands then to use as I please. I'm going to take the, take the rope, pass it over, pull it through. So then that rope is wrapped around that top bar. I'm going to then take the end of my rope, hit the corner of my net, feed the rope through the corner so I've got it on this slide here I'm going to slide it as tight as I can I'm going to then tie my loop so I can then tie this off so that then is quite happy and as it's on the rail it will slide up and down but that's mental stimulation for our horses which is always a good thing Next we have a post in the ground with a slit in the top, as you can see it's on a bit of an angle because I've had some chunky cobs sitting their backsides on it, but no worries we can still use it. So what I'm going to do is take my hay net, I'm going to split the two ropes, I'm going to take one of those ropes and put it through the slit in the centre. As you can see there's one rope on the outside and one rope in the middle. What I then do is pull it tightly, wrap the rope around the post, again keeping the tension on it. Then I'm going to find the corner of the hay net on the opposite side of the post to where I'm on. I'm going to feed the rope through that corner and pull it tight. I'm then going to go in the opposite direction to the corner of the hay net and pull the net tight around the post. So it's wrapping the hay around the post. This is important because it will keep the hay net on the post as much as possible whilst the horses are feeding. So once you've pulled that as tight as possible, wrapped it around as much as you can, you're going to want to keep the tension on the rope whilst also tying it off at the highest point on the rope. So as close to the actual net as the rope is. So you're going to create your loop as per normal and tie it off with your standard preferred method of this is a stump from a hawthorn tree that has been chopped down and as you can see there is a hole at the top there which is perfect for putting our hay nets through. So what I'm going to do is take the end of my hay net rope, pop it through that hole, pull it round the back of the stump, take it and put it through the corner of the hay net, pull it tight, create my loop and tie it off with whatever knot I feel like at the time. As you can see it sits lovely on the stump and is the perfect height for my herd. So this is another station, this one I've created myself with some paving twines, horseshoe nails and a mountain climber carabiner. 
It's exactly the same as a ring on a tree. You just put the rope through the carabiner, pull it tight, find the corner of your hay net, feed the rope through the corner of the hay net, slide it as tight as you can, create your loop, and use whatever knots you're using at that moment in time to tie it off. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you're subscribed and you click the bell icon so you have notifications about all future videos. Find us on Facebook, join the Facebook group, and check us out on Instagram, we're actually underscore Willa for virtually daily updates on the herd. I'll see you again soon. Bye!